Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Today we are doing all things shamrock. So we're doing shamrock rocks, uh, starting with how to draw a basic shamrock and then how to embellish it and make it into a lot of fun different designs. So this was originally over an hour's worth of content. I'm smushing it way down. If at any time you want more um, details um, on the rock, the links are all below to the full link tutorials. Uh, so first up, how to draw a basic shamrock. Okay, so we're gonna start with a cross on our rock and then you're going to create hearts at the top. Sorry, it glitched out there. Um, hearts at the top of each one of those pieces, a stem and then fill it in. And once you have it filled in, from here is where you can kind of decide how big you want your um, leaves to be. Uh, it depends on if you're gonna fill it in, if you want it to be skinny, there's a lot of ways you can take it from there. Uh, so this is just very basic, how to draw a shamrock. Next, we are adding dangles to it. So I'm using my Micron pen in this video. This video is very old. Um, I wouldn't suggest probably using a Micron on this bumpy of a rock if you want them to last a while. If you use a very light hand, you doodle off the tip often, you can get away with it um, like I did here. But if you have a 1M Posca, I would suggest to use that. So anyways, we were just drawing this uh, rainbow behind our shamrock. Uh, and then we're gonna just start adding our dangles. Now, if you're not familiar with my dangle style tutorials that I've shared on here a lot, uh, you can definitely see a lot more on building these and things like that. The link will be below. Um, I'll leave a card up here as well. Uh, but basically, you're just going to create these uh, vertical lines heading down your stone, uh, attached and dangling from anywhere on the design you want. I usually like to have some sort of jewel at the bottom uh, to weigh it down, kind of gives it some gravity. So uh, just work your way around your shape. Um, as you can see on the top left, you can have some pieces that kind of go up and out to the side and everything. Um, you can be very very um, creative with these. So once you have your dangles, we're basically just coloring in. I'm using my 1M Posca's. I do use my glitters a little bit on this. I'm not gonna show myself coloring the whole thing in. Just use your Posca's at a slight angle. You get uh, a lot more wear um, and fine tip off of the paint pen. So next we have our mosaic style. Uh, shamrock and I really really love how this one turned out so again I'm building my shamrock the same and we're just going to start splitting all of these um, petals are they called petals if they're on a leaf uh, just start splitting your sections apart now we want to get a whole rainbow on here and that is the trickiest part about this tutorial so again uh, this one you might want some extra tips if you're going to do it um, if you're getting frustrated so I'm going through and adding dots for my colors just to try to make sure I'm gonna have spacing, enough room for all of the colors of the rainbow moving in. And so I'm just gonna color in, you know, little bits at a time here. And that way I can see as I'm building that I'm able to create that rainbow shape and adding in some maybe extra pieces here and there uh, to make that happen. So like right here, I'm gonna add this back to blue because there wasn't a separation of blue between the green and purple. And that's basically it for this one. It's really easy to do once you kind of see it. So um, just make sure you give it a nice crisp lining at the end that really kind of makes these pop. It gives that contrast um, look to it. And there we have it. Next, this one is very crazy, maybe on the eyes a little bit, but same thing, build a shamrock, outline it. Now I do have a couple tips for this video. And that's why I'm gonna let it play through here a little bit. It's very self-explanatory once you see it. However, if you're using paint pens, um, if you want them to kind of blur together a little bit, you're gonna have to work while they're wet. Um, if you want to have a nice crisp line between them each, you have to wait for them to dry so they don't bleed together. Uh, but definitely go back in and reshape that shamrock to make sure it doesn't get too blown out too early. Uh, this is another one, super simple tutorial once you see it. So we're gonna just divide our whole stone into six sections here. And I kind of gave myself a point to kind of aim for. Um, fill them in with each color of the rainbow. Again, build our sham like we showed before. Um, and then we're just creating lines separating the colors and circles because we're gonna fill all of this in with gold. We do not have to have circle outlines. You can just stamp the gold right on top. And while those dots are drying, just kind of outlining. 
So fill your dots and then fill your shamrock. And I'm kind of making sure to lay the paint on here so it's nice and thick. You can use a toothpick to kind of help pull your paint around if you need to. Fix your outlines. How cute's that? And this one's really fun too. Again, once you see this, you won't need the full tutorial. Um, we're basically making radial dangles. So uh, the uh, hardest part or the part to pay attention to most here on this one is you want to make sure that you're breaking apart um, or not breaking apart, uh, adding dangles enough so that you'll have all the colors of the rainbow at least, you know, twice maybe around your stone or even more it just depends on how many. So just each line is going to represent a color. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So just make sure that you're, you're um, paying attention to that. You can sneak in a few dangles um, along the way as well if you need to once you start coloring in if you're off by one or two. So we're just filling in all of our lines with a bunch of little jewels here. Uh, and then it's just gonna be as simple as coloring in our dots. And when I use my paint pens for these, I'm not actually clicking my pen down here. I just wanna make sure you're noticing that. I'm just kind of dabbing the paint on so that it kind of stacks. And I'm not actually clicking my pen. When I watch it, it almost looks like I'm pushing down. Um, just wanna clarify, I'm not doing that. So like I said, each one of the uh, dangles will be a different color. And then you just work your way around your rock like that and they're super cute and that's it everybody so i hope this inspires you to uh paint some shamrock rocks um like i said before of course we've got more tutorials here i'm gonna add a playlist here and a video here. Um, don't forget to subscribe. You can become a patron and get to our videos ad free um, before anybody else as well and help support the channel that way. And we will be back soon with more rock painting inspiration. Bye-bye.